guys uh, and gals, if there's any out there. Back with another new one. This is the San Remu or Land 9103. It's, uh, if you're familiar with the Chris Reeves Sabenza, it's obviously a clone um, at a mere fraction of the price. Um, the Chris Reeves Sabenza is, I think, around. 450 and uh, I'm not prepared to spend $450 on anything, let alone a folding knife. <coughs> um, I actually received this one in a trade from uh, Advanced Knife Pro, and if you're not familiar with his channel, check him out. His knife reviews are awesome, and they're fucking hilarious to boot. Um, he did a video on, I don't remember what zero tolerance knife it was, but, uh, I asked him if he had ever thought about doing a review on the Kershaw Cryo 2, which is, it's an excellent knife. Um, you know, it's, it's another Chinese steel 8CR13 MOB, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good budget friendly knife. Uh, it's, you know, excellent, um, assisted open. No, it just absolutely flies open. Um, I carried this one for about about a year and a half, two years almost. Um, <clears throat> and I've been uh, I've been kind of swaying away from assisted open. I mean, I you know I still like this knife. I I mean, I to be honest, I love this knife. But uh, anyway, I digress. Um, I asked him if he had ever thought about uh, doing a review on this one and he said yeah if if someone gives it to me or if i can find it you know for a ridiculously cheap price and i was like well you know i've got one and um if you're interested in trading for the uh san remu land 9103 um you know i'll send it to you and he shot me back a comment and said uh you know send me your email address so we uh we're doing a trade for this one. I still yet obviously I've still yet to send this one out. But um yeah man, this San Rim U, uh it um <clears throat> it's not assisted open and I, I knew that went before I got it. And you know, that's a big reason. Like I said, I'm kinda getting away from the you know, the whole assisted open. This one I I didn't realize that it pivots on ball bearings like you know um the last night video i did the uh um that ganzo which I, I completely retired that thing once i got this in my hand like this knife it's it's amazing the the detent ball on it is awesome a, a lot of people complain about the detent on it that it's you know it's too tight well if it were any looser it probably wouldn't you know fly out like it does Man, this this knife is awesome. I think you can pick this one up for around twenty bucks uh, on Gearbest. Um, <clears throat> it's twelve C twenty seven steel, which it seems to hold an awesome edge. I mean, I've done a bunch of cardboard cutting. Uh, you know, I, I actually used this last night in the kitchen. Uh, I uh, cooked some chicken breast and I deboned them. And I mean, literally, haven't done anything to the edge, and it's still it. It's crazy, stupid sharp. It still had the factory edge on it when I got it from Advanced Knife Bro, but I, yeah, crazy about factory edges. I'm not crazy about them, so I, you know, put uh, put one of my edges on it, and this thing, like I said, it's just it's it's stupid sharp. <clears throat> so, I think I'm going to like 12C27 steel. Uh, really, I, I mean, I, this knife is badass. It's, I really can't say anything bad about it. For an $18 knife, the centering on the blade, it's, I mean, it's outstanding. There's no play whatsoever. I mean, it 
this thing it's it's built like it, it's built like a hundred dollar knife it really is um <clears throat> stainless steel handle and it I, there's no way i'll be able to get a shot of it but it's it's skeletonized so it does take off some weight which you know weight's not a big thing that i'm concerned about um the only thing that i did do <clears throat> I bent this part of the pocket clip out a little bit because I couldn't quite get it to hook on my, you know, pants very well. But after bending that out just, you know, just a tiny bit, uh, you know, no issues whatsoever. I just, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I've just been fidgeting with it <coughs> like crazy. <clears throat> it's absolutely outstanding. I mean, like I said, you you can't beat it for, for 20 bucks. <clears throat> I did. Like I said, I had this one for a while. So there's definitely some wear and tear on it. And, you know, I, I sent Advanced Knife Pro some pictures and, you know, told them I was like, I've carried this knife for a while. So it does have some, you know, there is some visible usage on it. Like that little scrape, scratch right there. But... The edge on it is still pristine. It's it's just as sharp as well, it's just as sharp as that last one. Again, like I said, it's it's an edge. actually I think I think that one's probably a little sharper. Oh yeah. Maybe I might have to do a little bit of work to it before I send it to him. <clears throat> but yeah. San Remu Land 9103. Brought to you by Advanced Knife Pro. And uh, like I said, if you guys haven't seen his channel, check it out. If you're like me and you can sit around and watch knife reviews and, you know, just watch different ones over and over again, this guy is, <laughs> he also does flashlight reviews too. So if you're into knives and flashlights, uh, Advanced Knife Bros right up your alley. He's got <laughs> his uh, his demeanor. It's it's hilarious. Just check him out, man. Have a good one.